What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I want to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Goliath Burrito, Forbidden Fan 12, Steven Stanton, Kent 9 Dave 69, Saturn Coon, Fish Cake, Nicholas A. Montgomery, Tat Cap, Johann Stenfeld, Anthony, Russell Kanai Uyker, Luis A. Sandoval, Samaran 1, Shane Lindroth, Firefox 2590, Crispy Bacon, D, Evo, Jasmine Tayer Studley, Scav King, Zombie, Stinging Shadow, Cursing Throne 92, Jacobus 92, Owen, The One Who Crawls, Cesar Valentin, Joshua Susick, Travis Tennant, Malik, JPC2, Jacob W, Alex Cole, Joshua Wire, Malik Black, Kiki, and as always, I want to give a shout out to our executive producers, Bevan Brummett and Vincenzo. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to become a YouTube member, click the join button, which is down by the subscribe button down below. And if you wish to become a Patreon supporter, click the link in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Oh, I got a new tool. Wait, is this a... Oh my gosh, dude, I can melt through metal now. Yay! Any upgrades available? Hello, hello. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I got a full minute of blowtorch. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Renegades React, and today we're going to be looking Bob at... Wins. Okay, let's let's let, let's hear death battle out. All right, let's 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 at least hear their arguments and their estimates. And their so here's the thing: even if they take every power Link has ever had mm -hmm. and give him all of them, I don't agree with it because Link is not the same exact guy throughout every single Zelda game. It's it's a decision. It's a reincarnation. Yeah, a reincarnation yeah. and what have you. He doesn't have all of his powers at any given time. You have to pick one particular link to make this fair because he's never going to have every single power that he's ever had at the same time. This is true. Like this... Breath of the Wild Link is different from Majora's Mask Link. Like yeah. Link and... to the Past Link is different from both of those links. Which link would you say is probably the most powerful in terms something of... that you said before this is probably see i i never got it so i haven't seen it but the fierce deity mask i've heard is pretty fucking powerful yeah and so plus Majora's the mask is link, ridiculous. i would say probably with the fierce deity mask maybe i mean maybe adult link from ocarina of time with light arrows or something but here's the thing about cloud if you've just played the Final Fantasy VII game, like it's obvious he's a pretty powerful motherfucker, right? He takes on stuff. Pretty badass, off, like, yeah. You know, survives a meteor like being cast on him. Mm -hmm. Like fucking beats the ruby weapon and all that shit, you know. Like, and not just. But then you like watch Sephiroth, Advent GM. Children, and Advent Children is next fucking level from what you even imagined in your head about how Cloud moves and swings that big ass fucking sword and how he uses it too. I mean, he uses training. it to climb. He uses Link it is to always sit. just a destined hero. Yes, but yeah. Cloud is trained to be a killer. To me, it's kind of like, like it's kind of like Goku if, versus Batman. If they Batman, say that Link you know, wins this, I'm Jesus. sorry, I just won't agree. Death, with him, like on any level. Batman, although Batman's a pretty tough character, got a lot of tools up the sleeve. A Kamehameha will melt him. Well, again, like Cloud would be the second most powerful opponent you could convince me that he's ever fought next to Ganondorf himself in Ocarina of Time, which who, who was so powerful he couldn't be killed, and they had to seal him in the void between dimensions, and he could only do that with help from the six sages. So it's not going to be Link that could beat Cloud. It would be Link and the Six Sages could maybe still They're Cloud in the gap rules. between dimensions. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll have Even to then, see. it wouldn't be a death battle that way. He would just be sealed between dimensions. He wouldn't technically be dead. So I, I would still call that a technicality. Like, I, you can't really convince me that yeah. Link is well, able to beat Maybe if he Cloud. had the whole power of the entire Triforce. Maybe. But, like, Maybe. But that's what Ganon has. So. Well, yeah, well, Ganon... Well, and I'm not just a Final yeah, well, Fantasy fanboy saying this either. Honestly, Legend of Zelda is probably my favorite. I would love for Link to be able to stand up mm -hmm. to him, but I've played both. I like Zelda better. I just don't think Link could beat Cloud. Yep. It's just, I want and, Link to somehow pull something well, out dude, of the you got, so. Dude, the tat. Show, show the tat yeah, on, yeah. The, on the arm right Zelda there. Yeah, look at that right there. He's He's yeah. got that, and it shows you his commitment and dedication. Me... <laughs> I really don't. I 
I, I like both franchises. I've played both games. And in all honesty... I love both the games. I do, too. I love... I, look, that's one thing I think all of us can unanimously agree on. We love the video games. Not to mention, they gave a win to Mickey for the spell Ultima. Yeah. Which Cloud probably also can get, if I had to guess. Yeah, that's true. So, and, and, he, and he can call a GM, like... <laughs> Every, yeah, or, he can uh, call the Knights of the Round or, Table. Yeah, and it's like oh. Knight, Knights of the Round Table is like his ultimate spell. Bahamut, like yeah, Bahamut. So many different weapons he could use, yeah. dude. And well, let's see these guys break down the math. Yeah, and let's got fucking Omni Slash and just oh, dude, Omni Slash is baller. Link, Link's most powerful thing is probably the Fierce of the Eighty Mask and the Light Arrows. Yeah, and I don't even think the Light Arrows would affect Cloud because I think they're used to banish darkness, and I don't think Cloud would count because yeah. he's not a bad guy. Well, yeah, that's true. At the very well, least, you shoot Cloud with a light arrow, and he gets less edgy. <laughs> 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 that's about all I think it would. He goes do. <laughs> from Advent Children Cloud back to Final Fantasy VII Cloud. He shows up. He's just like, "Where's my black cloak? Why am I wearing a dress again? What happened? What, what the hell did you do?" <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, we got this here. Let's get it on. We got it on screen. Let's give it a watch. Here we go. Death Blank, the courageous and determined hero of Hyrule. Loud, straight, sword swinging, spiky haired, Sephiroth Slayer. Each are powerful warriors. Nice alliteration there, Boomstick. Right, fight to the death. Which one will win? He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. In the land of Hyrule was a hero so great, even a goddess favored him. Destined to wield the Triforce of Courage, he fought for his people until his dying breath. Moreover, he was chosen to be reincarnated through time to continue defending against evil. This hero's name was Link. Since Link's spirit had been reborn over and over, technically that means most Links are kind of the same guy. It's a real Link to the past. Kind <laughs> of, but not Which exactly. is probably why he's so skilled with tons of different weapons, like his Hylian shield, and of course, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is no ordinary blade. Infused with sacred energy, it is evil's bane incarnate, capable of destroying magical barriers, dispelling curses, and slaying immortal monsters. But I just gotta say, does anybody else agree beat? that the uh, fact that they call the sword in several of the games the Sword of Evil's Bane... Like, that's just one of the coolest fucking, like, secondary names. Yeah. Like, the I Master Sword. That was so the sword epic of when they would say thing. that. But I was just like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was in Skyward Strike. He could even charge it with lightning. You like that, Blank Blank? Blank's carried hammers, clubs, spears, even boomerangs. And his talent with a bow is second to none. He has fire, ice, and shock arrows, and his light arrows possess holy magic. But the ancient arrows instantly consign foes to oblivion, appearing to either transport them to another dimension or crush them into nothingness. And these souped up weapons have come in handy. Link's had his fair share of tussles defending the world from foes like Ganon, Vati, and Majora. Link has survived rolling through lava and, while wearing the Golden Gauntlet or Titan's Mitts, been strong enough to lift stone weighing well over 10,000 tons. And the Four Sword lets him split up into copies of himself. Talk about multitasking! No, the With the Ocarina of Time, Link can summon storms, teleport across the land, and even travel through time. With Saul! But some of that doesn't hold a candle to the Sheikah Sleep. That thing can set remote bombs, move objects magnetically, and totally stop time for things! And it can summon his Master Cycle Zero! Four cycles are all well and good, but what? his sailcloth is so Excuse me? Yes, yeah, on the DLC. Oh, Master okay. Cycle Zero! Motorcycles. Huh. I was gonna say, I don't remember getting a goddamn motorcycle when I play Breath of the Wild. What the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking to myself, wait a second, are they including like shit from yeah. Hyrule Warriors? Yeah, because uh, that and the Majora's Mask is in the DLC too. Majora's Mask is awesome in Breath of the Wild. Once you put that bitch on, all the enemies are just infatuated with you, and they, they want to come up and dance with you. <laughs> they'll dance, and they'll behave in their natural habitat and stuff, so you can go party with the... With the uh, the moblins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's cool. And almost all, all the enemies, uh, the um, Lionels will sit there and look at you, like, and they're just confused, you know, <laughs> but... Uh, Damn. Yeah, if you're in the middle of a party between those things, like real close, like a bonfire with the uh, the goblins. 
Uh, and you take your mask off, they're all just... <gasps> then they'll start beating you over the head with a damn... Ass, and there's nothing you can do. It's great. <laughs> See, they're basically doing exactly what I said, that I wouldn't count for something like this. They're going <clears> to... <throat> they're combining them. They're yeah. combining every single generation of Link and every single, like tool that he got a hold of during all the different time periods. I guess they're going to, to try to make it fair because Clyde I would guess. Get, They'd have get to, really. Yeah. Like, <sighs> they're all well and good, but his sailcloth is certainly a more elegant way to move around. So he's got a lot of cool stuff, but sometimes he's got to get sneaky about it. While he may be tough, Link can't always win fights with brute force. His claw shots are perfect for maneuvering around the environment, and his magic cape can turn him invisible. I can think of a lot of ways that would come in handy. Well, Boom let's stick. see. Dummy. Uh, dummy. Ha <laughs> ha, got ya. You know, Link's weapons are very effective against sassy robots. Ooh, you can't see me coming now, can ya? <laughs> ha! Hey, why didn't you get hit? Uh, right, the magic cape also turns Link intangible. Huh. Well, guess there's no punch line. Anyway, did you uh, know Link's fast enough to roll away from Beamos lasers? Which are actual light beams. They burn things, move in a straight line, and the guide says they're lasers, so... There! As you can see, Link can dodge this laser at the moment it's fired. Given the distance between the two and the time frame, he would have to be moving two feet in just under two billionths of a second. About a tenth uh, the speed I think of that's light. A stretch. Now, you know what? Yeah, I think that's a it's huge a roll, stretch. Man. Like... I don't think that's exactly that's what That's some bullshit. That's a reason to say, Excuse me, princess. Because if he didn't, no one would get out of the way in time. Ooh, but one item Link ooh, has isn't simply a mere vehicle to increase It's more like you can strength. hear the thing charging its laser up, and at that yeah. point you would Because if you could go that way. fast, you could travel across Hyrule in a second. Yeah. Like, that's a huge stretch. All of a sudden, yeah, it's just like... I don't agree with it's that. It's like, oh, hey, there's Zelda. They've already given like, him Holy some, crap, how did you get in here? They basically, if like, they use they that kind of shit, like in their explanation as to why he would win, like, yeah, then that, I, that. I still don't agree. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, here, Nick, I'll give you this. This is a uh, thing of power that I will bestow upon you. This is the bullshit flag. <laughs> if, if bullshit does, in fact, occur, I give you full permission... To throw it. Okay. Throw it and raise hell. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and... Uh... It's even brown. Like bullshit. Exactly. The it's a lighter shade of, of bullshit, courage, but... Yeah. A holy relic that offers mystic power to its bearer, including protection from transmutation. He's got some other spells, too. Like for shielding and healing, and his fairy spell lets him literally just You're really turn into a fairy. You're really including Zelda, too? Oh, look at him. Apparently. Apparently. Really? No one gives a fuck Get about that game. Link's also You'd be surprised, man. Great Except for collectors, is that it? Past Hylian champions. Mifa's grace can even revive him to full health after death. And if all this wasn't enough for him to just trash his opponents, Link's known to carry around a snack or two to help him out. While he usually has a limited supply of magical energy, a single Baseball bottle of I just found out you could do this recently. What? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Uh, yeah, the spin attack. That's how you deflect all of those back. You don't have to deflect them. You just shoot him with a light arrow while he's charging it. His mask. These masks not only change his physical form, yeah, but give him unique abilities. Like how his all the mask there. increases his strength. He can even roll so fast he catches fire. But the fierce deity mask is the best. Yes. It basically transforms him into a dark god. Ten feet tall and 100% terrifying. With inhuman strength and the impossible helix sword. Fierce deity Link could easily overpower Majora who pulled the moon into the planet with enough force to destroy a continent and cause planet-wide destruction. Well, sounds like he's got everything he needs to defend Hyrule. I mean, if you're chump... Again, if they were just including Majora's Mask, yeah. which is what they should, because, you know, that's only one link, one timeline, but... Oh, well. Listen, my goddess, you gotta do what she says, right? With the boy clad in green committed to the cause, Hyrule can breathe easy, knowing it's defended by such a worthy champion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. On the planet Gaia, run by the Shinra conglomerate, one young man wanted to be a strong protector of others, just like his hero, Sephiroth, the elite member of Soldier. This was Cloud Strife. 
The troops of Soldier are awesome! They get badass paramilitary weapons and get to cast magic from Materia! Materia is a byproduct of the Life Stream, an energy source that runs through the world. Green Materia casts offensive spells, blues for supportive spells, and yellow has commands! But red's the most powerful, cause they can summon giant monsters! No wonder Cloud wanted to be a part of Soldier so bad! I'd want to too if I could have a giant dragon god <laughs> yeah. as a pet! This is Bahamut Fury, among the most powerful gods. summons in Final Fantasy history. Capable of annihilating a moon, a feat worth over 140 exatons of TNT. Which Cloud totally survived after he made it into the Soldier program without any problems See, whatsoever. There you go. Nope, none at all. Is this too much foreshadowing? Uh, Cloud's time as a Soldier mercenary was, well, it never happened. Despite his own memories saying otherwise, Cloud actually failed to join the program at all. Alright, bear with me here. Oh, See, Cloud man. had a friend, the first class soldier. This is gonna spoil the Bale. shit out of Final Fantasy VII for me, isn't it? Wait, you haven't beaten seven? No! Oh, Remember, wow. nine is the very first Final Fantasy I ever finished, and it was only recently that I finished it. Damn. And I'm playing seven's remake right now. I did not know that. Like, God damn I it. figured you'd beat it. No. I wouldn't have. Asked to do this, man, if I'd have known. It's too late now. It's whatever. They went through it. I cast a spell of forgetting. After this video, you will forget all about it. My memory's bad, but it also always remembers worst shit, like spoilers for shit. Bunch of wacky adventures together, then got kidnapped by some weird cultists who injected them with alien DNA and Marco energy that supercharged them. It's a long story. That, time and time again, Zack came to Cloud's rescue. Until one day, a rescue would be his final act. But before he fell, he gifted Cloud his big old buster sword. Hey, what's a sword between bros? Especially when Zack had been there for Cloud so that much in the past. Like right? how Zack was the one who helped Cloud adjust to the fact that he had never become a member of Soldier. Or how Cloud hadn't been the one who took the moon exploding either. That was Zack all along. Cloud's own history had affected him so much that he unintentionally took Zack's as his own. Jeez, sounds like he needs to do some heavy self-reflection. Cloud struggled with confidence ever since he was rejected from the Soldier Program. That, combined with the trauma from being kidnapped, experimented on, and watching his best friend die, fractured his sense of self. You know, Cloud not being who he said he was reminds me of someone, Wiz. Uh, what are you talking about? You know, like how you faked your identity to avoid paying all those student loans and Homeland Security is still looking for you and... Stop! Uh, <laughs> hey, did you know, despite how the game works, Cloud can use Materia without a weapon. Isn't that neat? Anyway, realizing his memories were faulty sparked Cloud's journey of self-repair. Though he had failed to become part of Soldier, he probably shouldn't have, because he's been in many many fights just as, if not more impressive than those of Zack's resume. Remember that awesome dragon? He beat him! Bahamut's super strong, but also fast enough to fly between planets in seconds! Hell, Cloud can even fly too! I guess, more like he's able to jump hundreds of yards up and hang in the sky and lunge around... Yeah, it's basically flight. He can also <laughs> use spirit energy for super attacks called limit breaks, like the classic Omni Slash. He's also worn several different types of gear over the years, but the one he's consistently kept is a certain ribbon which defends him from the majority of status effects, excluding time manipulation. He's dodged bullets, lasers, and electric attacks. He's casually sliced buildings in half, can cast literal nuclear explosions with his flare materia, and he even beat that handsome devil Zippera. I don't know how Sebi survived being impaled by a sword that's literally wider than he is, but Cloud got to kick his ass multiple times. Even coming face to face with Sephiroth's ultimate attack, Supernova. Along the way, Cloud also destroyed Shinra. That's one way to get back at the folks who refused to hire you. Oh, and he got an even cooler sword too. Get rid of that sentimental buster sword, buster, cause the fusion sword isn't here to play. With the fusion sword came a new version of Cloud. One who'd worked hard to resolve his personal issues and overcame any foe, mental or physical, in his way. So all that, on top of beating Sephiroth three whole times, proves Cloud puts up one hell of a fight. Despite Cloud's frustrating start as a young man with unattainable dreams, he grew up to become far more than he could have imagined. After saving the world more than once, Cloud Strife deserves the hype. Stay where you belong. In my memories. 
Yeah, I guess it only just spoiled basically the only part that I had spoiled fully. All right, dude. If you want to last as long in bed as Lincoln Clinton, I don't really care about lasting long in bed. Never had a problem. Don't give a shit about your bird too. Yeah. Only time I'd take that is if I was involved in an orgy. I mean, what? Huh? Dumb. I don't know. Okay, so opinion still the same? Hmm. Opinion still the same, Cloud? Uh, yeah. I think Cloud would fucking. I mean, yeah. Even, I, even I the would mask, say the same. And he's got the ribbon that protects him from any of that time shit. I I, I so, would say the same. Yeah. So. The only thing I can think of is those ancient arrows. Just gets lucky with one of those motherfuckers and just. His ass disappears. <laughs> I guess. That's the only thing yeah. I can think of. I mean, that, I don't, that master I don't know. sword, that's a powerful sword, but it ain't gonna do shit against that damn fusion sword. You're right about that. Oh, we so need, there we, we go. Level building I guess is have yet again, sword? most of Link's arsenal and powerful shit is for banishing evil. And Cloud's not evil, so yeah. Light arrows, I don't think I'll do anything other than just being a normal arrow. God. All I right. Mean, holy damage is a thing that can affect Cloud in Final Fantasy if you go to the Final Fantasy universe, but yeah. All right. So we all unanimously agree Cloud is, is our pick. Yep. All right. Let's see the battle. I was a betting man. That's what I was betting on. Same. Cloud on this bike versus Link on his motorcycle thing. <laughs> you would be right. Oh, great. That annoyed the hell out of me. Hey, hey! Too early. I think that's his trump card, and I think Cloud hasn't even summoned anything yet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Omni! Crazy. Here we go. And 
I would have made some money too. Yeah, I mean, we all three. Uh, it's been a while since I think everyone selected the the right one. Yeah. I mean, damn. Yeah, I mean, it was really tilted though. Like it was really tilted from the start, and I'm glad yeah. they tried to even it out for the just the sake of that awesome ass battle. Yeah. You know? uh, hand me the bullshit flag there, Nick. It's like we won't be needing that today. Nope. All right, no bullshit flag needed. So I will put it over here to the side for another day. Just in case. So, anyway, I think that's, uh, yeah, pretty cut and dry right there. With Straight to it. I mean, yeah. That was pretty awesome. That, that was, was a great that battle. That always ended up amazing me with their cinematics, with the battles. Well, like, yeah. That's, like, damn. I mean, again, it's... I'm surprised they didn't just pull out Super Smash Brothers for this one because they're both in it. <laughs> you know, that actually would make, would make a lot of sense. If anything, I would have taken the models that's in that and I would have done something in the Source Engine, but... I but I guess this is my I mean this that would be more entertaining. Though. This I think it'd be yeah. But I love this, dude. This was really good. I mean, damn. Yes, Link thought it was time to split. Too soon? Yeah. Link had an incredibly versatile arsenal available to him, given the abilities he had from his various weapons and masks. And with stuff like the Sheikah Slate and Ocarina, the guy had so much to throw at Cloud that he could have easily gotten overwhelmed. Even with that against him, Cloud could match much of Link's arsenal with both his materia and superhuman ability. Link may have won a few fights with his time stop, but so would Cloud. For our purposes of determining who would win the most often, these essentially cancel each other out. Link's Master Sword and Triforce of Courage helped him counter some of Cloud's materia. Like, he wasn't getting turned into a toad or anything, but Cloud's ribbon could do a lot of the same, especially against those fire, ice, and shock arrows. Since both had multiple ways to counter each other's more magic-based moves, and both had incredible healing spells, this really came down to their baser abilities. Like how Link dodging lasers put him at a tenth the speed of light, but Cloud kept up with Bahamut, who flew between planets in 12 seconds. Since this looks like Neptune, and considering Gaia is a stand-in for Earth, the distance between them would be 4.3 billion kilometers. To travel that distance in 12 seconds means Bahamut Fury flew at least 1,200 times the speed of light. So while uh, Link was smart, Damn. had more experience, and has fought foes faster than him before, Cloud could literally run circles around him without him noticing. Link's strength and power were nothing to scoff at, especially when scaled to Majora pulling the moon into a planet and destroying a continent. That would take an energy equivalent to over 60 exatons of TNT. However, Cloud was strong enough to endure similar attacks, and return the favor in a devastating way. Like how he survived Zipperoth's supernova attack. Guidebooks confirm that the supernova is a blast that destroys dimensional space. Technically, it occurs in another dimension where the entire solar system is annihilated, with clouds standing right there. It sounds crazy, but this means he can literally survive a sun exploding in his face. I mean, it really messed him up, but still, it's a goddamn sun. Link's never had to deal with something of that magnitude before. The hero of Hyrule put up an admirable fight, and could certainly win in a few different ways. But Cloud's speed, strength, and powerful limit breaks meant that, more often than not, his victory was assured. Link tried Force, but against Cloud, he had G no way out. The winner is Cloud Strife. Yeah, alright. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it's just like... Link is pretty fucking awesome in his universe, obviously, but the Damn, Final Fantasy Go universe, universe is just kind Vegeta? of a next level place. Yeah. Yeah, that's like two of my, that's like the favorite part of GT. That's really the best part of GT, if you ask me. Yeah. This is just the, the fact that you got, um, ah, Vegito's version. Yeah, so is, three know. months. So they're taking a little bit of a break. It'll be three more months for uh, Death Battle to come back. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was, uh, that was a good one. Yeah, uh, I like awesome. the I like that cinematic uh, a lot. I also, you know, I think we all knew uh, what the outcome was going to be. I mean, if we're being honest, I mean, because I love, I mean, I, I I love Link, and I love the Legend of Zelda games, but I mean, if we're being honest, there's a reason why Link lost, and it's because it's Cloud. I mean, 
Jesus. <laughs> what else is there to say? So, yeah, I I really think like, that... There is, ahead. I think, a way that one Link could have actually beaten Cloud. Like, you think so? And that would be Link to the Past Link, because the whole thing with Link to the Past was when you touch the Triforce, you got a wish. And it could be anything. So he could have wished Cloud out of existence with the Triforce and Link to the Past. That's true. Yeah. I didn't even think about that one. But that would be a very specific scenario involving him going on an entire quest just to beat Cloud, pretty much. Yeah, I... Not to mention, I... like, it's it's a pure-hearted wish type thing, and it gets distorted if your heart's dark. Yeah. And I feel like since Cloud's not really a villain, I don't even know how the Triforce and the goddesses would react to that kind of wish. It would just be... Well, what is your wish? It would be like a dark wish and therefore distort it some way. What is your wish? I want this guy to not exist anymore. What did he do wrong? Uh, nothing really. We're just having a battle. I just can't battle. really beat him otherwise. <laughs> yeah. It's like, um... That doesn't sound very pure of heart there, Link. And he's just like... You know what? You're right. You know, maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll just go out there and freaking die. You know, if you don't do this for me, you know, he tries to guilt trip them into <laughs> doing it, and he's and they're just like Link, please don't do this, and he's just like, do what? I mean, you're the ones telling me to go out there and just die. God. So, yeah, I I'm happy with the outcome of this battle. I mean, we all sort of knew it was going to happen. So. What did you all think? Did you all think it was a good battle? I mean, it's pretty for us, it was pretty uh, cut and dry. Why do you all think Link should have won? If you think that, and you know, if you thought Cloud should have won, and you know you're happy that he did, let us know in the comments below. And uh, I guess for now, that's going to do it. So I guess until next. Also, if oh. you're down to watch gaming streams, I'm not really announcing exactly what it is yet, but you can probably take a guess if I tell you that next month there's going to be something Zelda related happening on the channel so if you want yeah. details keep an eye on our discord uh, specifically the announcements channel oh yeah and uh, turn on the bell if you don't want to get on the discord and hopefully YouTube will send you a notification when we go live this, well there you go so keep that keep that in mind no, everyone a wink <laughs> keep that in mind everyone so I guess until next time everyone signing off I'm Nate I'm, I'm Nick Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm used to you not being here. It's, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So, until then, everyone. Take He's care. Jacob. <laughs> yeah. Take care, everyone. Peace out.